On this example, we're going to be taking the definite integral of a rational function by using uh, u substitution. So what we want to do is identify what we're going to use for our u. We're going to be able to use the innermost function here is the x cubed minus 3 is all raised to the third power. So that's what we're going to use for our u. Next up, what we want to do is we want to take the derivative of each side of this. So the derivative of u is going to be 1, and we put a du on this side. On the right-hand side, we'll use the power rule, 3x squared, and the derivative of the constant is going to be 0. And we also put a dx on this side. And the idea is that we are going to want to replace x squared dx with something that's equal to that. Well, our green equation at the bottom looks almost like that, except for we have that three on that side. So what we can do is we can move that to the other side and say one third du equals x squared dx. Now I'm going to go ahead and substitute in. So we're looking at an integral. I'm gonna replace the x squared dx with one third du. But instead of putting that one third in the middle of the problem, we're allowed to put the constants out in front. All right, so really it's like one and then the du I'll go ahead and put at the end. The rest of this, we wanted to also substitute in the denominator. So in the denominator, we can put a u in the spot of the x cubed minus three. Now the bounds of integration were initially from zero to one, but those were x values. And we switch our variable over to u values. So what we want to do is use our equation, uh, the let statement where we let u equal x cubed minus one. And off to the side here, I'm going to go ahead and say, well, I want a u value when I plug in one. So I'm going to go ahead and substitute that in to the let statement. So we replace the x with our x value of one and we get one cubed minus three, which is one minus three makes negative two will be our upper bound for integration. And then another u value when we substitute in a zero into that let statement, it's gonna be equivalent to zero minus three will make negative three will be our lower bound um, in u values. All right, next we wanna integrate. But before we do that, what I'm gonna do is bring along the one third bring along our integration from negative three to negative two. I'm gonna rewrite this as u to the negative third power. That's gonna allow us to use our power rule for integration. So the one third again comes along, but as we integrate, we're gonna go increase the exponent by one. So we go u to the negative second power, negative three plus one. And then we want to in front here, multiply by one over our new exponent. This is still in, uh, bounded by negative three and negative two. This may be a little bit easier to look at if we move that negative out in front. I'm also gonna go ahead and say three times two makes six. And I'm gonna use the u with a positive exponent. I'm gonna move that back down to the denominator. Evaluated from negative three to negative two. The rest of this, really we need to plug in our bounds. So we have the negative of one over six times negative two squared minus, we always subtract away, negative of one over six times negative three squared. And with a little simplifying down, we should be okay on this. This is a negative of one over six times four makes 24. And then the double negative, subtracting a negative, I'm gonna make that addition one over six times nine, three squared is gonna be nine. Six times nine makes 54. All right, to combine these fractions together, we'll need a common denominator. The common denominator in this case turns out being 216. So to end up with 216 as this common denominator, we're gonna multiply the first fraction by nine over nine. And the second fraction is gonna be multiplied by four over four. This will leave us with negative nine, 216 plus four, 216, which ultimately works out to be negative five, 216. All right, in this one, I chose to switch all of our values over to U values, as opposed to keeping them as X values. Um, you could have substituted X back in by using our, uh, using the let statement where U equals X cubed minus three. 
and gone back to X values for your bounds of integration, we'll get to the exact same solution. All right, hope this helps out. Good luck to you as you're working on integration.